Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Blender Shader Nodes. Today, I will be teaching you how to make your very own blur node in Blender 3.0. Now, 3.0 isn't necessary for this. This will work in Blender 2.8 plus, I believe, but I'm just using 3.0. So, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you want a plane right here with an image texture on it, or any texture you want, 2D, 3D, using a UV input, or any other input that you want. And next, what you want to do is use a MixRGB node set to Linear Light. So with this, we also want to input a texture and a white noise texture. With this method of blurring, it's using a technique called noise dithering. So let's hook the noise into the Linear Light. And as we can see right here, if we lessen the effect a bit, this effect is very strong, so you want to stay within the 0 to 0.1 range. But as we can see here, the effect is working. Now this is the fast version of the effect, it's not entirely accurate, and I will show you why in just a second. If we bring in a brick texture right here, hook it up and look at the output, this is a normal one and let's blur it a bit. As you can see, we get this very weird cross hatch pattern right here, which isn't accurate. To fix that, we just need to add in a vector rotate node, but let's turn this into a very easy to use node real quick, a node group. So to do that, let's select all these nodes right here, select group, and make it a node group. There we go. Let's label this node group blur. And if we go back into the node group by pressing tab, we could attach this to the factor output so that we can control it from outside the node. And one other thing that I like doing is changing this from a color input and output to a vector input and output. So to do that, you go into the end panel and you switch these both to vector. This one for the input and this one for the output. Okay, now you have a very easy to use node that you could just hook up to any 2D 3 or 3D texture and it'll work pretty much perfectly. But now let's go on to the advanced version, the version that doesn't have this weird cross hatching pattern. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Let's move uh, these textures back a little bit. We want to switch this uh, mix RGB node from linear light to add, and we're going to use a convert a vector vector rotate node right here. We want it to set it to Euler and hook the white noise texture into the vector input, and then we want a vector math node set to scale, and hook this into the input right here. And we want the scale to be set to pi times two, or this could be any high value. Pi times two is just the mathematically semi-mathematically accurate version. And if we put this into here, we can see, once we hook it up, that the cross-hatching is no longer happening. Now with this version, since it does use noise dithering, it will take quite a few samples to resolve, especially in Eevee. If you're in cycles, it will be much faster because you can use the denoiser just right off the bat. But as we can see here, it works pretty well, and it will work on uh, 3D noise textures. I'll just give you a little demonstration just to show you. So let's bring this over here, make a new material, and let's use a Voronoi texture. So texture Voronoi, control T and have the object input right here. And let's have the color output be right there. As we could see, color output, harsh edges, we don't want that. So let's input our uh, blur node right here. And as we can see, it is blurring quite well on a 3D texture. So yeah, that's basically the entire effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I know this one's on the shorter side, let me know if you like shorter or longer tutorials in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, look at my Twitter account, there's all types of cool projects I'm working on there. Check out my Instagram account and my Gumroad account. There's a lot of cool free and paid stuff on there. So yeah, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you in the next tutorial.